Greetings and salutations, I am Kev. Welcome back to this Let's Play of Victoria 2 at the Russian Empire. Things are progressing. Maybe not entirely the way we'd like most of the time, but well. And I also had to do a reload because I had some other business to attend to, so I should probably see that. A massive sudden adjustment of the market every time. Yeah, never save and reload the game when you have a low treasury. It will end badly. Oh, I have uh, diplomatic points galore. Better spend them. Try to mend our ways with, well, at the very least, the United Kingdom. Make sure the United States do not want to get uh, uh, certain bits of uh, Alaska. Oh, France absolutely hates our guts. Huh. Maybe not who we want to influence, not to think about it. Instead, let's go and check our priority list. This list. Actually, plus 200. Yeah, we we'll definitely have to do this here. Uh, nobody is contending with us for Manchuria. Everybody is contending for Colombia. United States are actually pushing for Xinjiang. And I've been barred from Malakia. Really? Okay, so we're now second in military score. Well, who overtook us? I assume it's gonna be Germany. Actually, no, it's Britain. Hmm. 222 army score. So we have twice that. Yeah, it's capital ships, basically. That's, we're gonna fix that. We're gonna fix that. And we're gonna have some rebels for rebels first. Oh boy. Jacobin rebels again. Oh boy. Oh well, nothing to do about it, but... Kill them all. Oh boy. Would have been nice to have a quiet session for once. <laughs> uh, we'll see what we can do here. Um. These are beginning to be rather strong. Why can't the upper house be so scared that I can pass some reforms? It would be so much easier. Ah, so much easier to deal with than to fight these blasted... Blasted rebels. Um, and I, I don't think I have any way of actually uh, treating with these rebels either. Like, tell them, hey... I cave. Hmm. So, if we let these rebels actually win, we'd get a constitutional monarchy. Right? The rebels will win if the following is true. Capital controlled by Jacobin rebels. We are an absolute monarchy, so they would institute a constitutional monarchy, which is actually what I want. I just would like to pass the darn reforms myself. And the only way to do that at this point is to increase the liberals, but I have no idea how I can possibly do that. Uh. Hmm. 
Though one revolt did rise up in St. Petersburg. Hmm. You know what, let's kill all the other rebels, but leave that one alone. Just in case, it might actually be feasible to do. I wouldn't actually mind becoming a constitutional monarchy, not at this point. I'm not sure what's going to happen to all these rebels if we get... If, um, if the ones in the capital succeed. I will see. For now, let's just... Try to mop up whatever we can, except the one in the capital. Yeah, I know I'm playing with fire here, but... I need to destroy that army. I actually did destroy that army. Oh, this is the um, infantry one, the one that... Ah, it wasn't an actual army, it's just a... Well, it was just the auxiliary one, which I never finished. Um... Warsaw, Vladivostok, okay. You go north. You go there, and then. Oh boy. You go and deal with this one and then there. They'll only rebel in actual states, I think, so the rest of the country should be safe. I hope. Oh yeah, and we're still at war as well. There's that little dilemma. to the capital. Just there. Uh, this occupation is... They are... Okay, the occupation is progressing, so eventually they'll succeed. It's gonna be a bit strange, though, to switch over to a non-absolutist government, but I think that's what we want, to be honest. These rebels survived. Where are they going? To Bukhara. Oh, there it is. Go there. Kill! Kill the rebel! Okay, we discovered secret police, which basically reduced all the rebels. Ah. Bit late for that. steamers. I think we're gonna push straight on to steel steamers and see if we can unlock uh, the new type of ships because I don't think the dreadnoughts can be activated until 1900. That's still a ways away. 
Then we have the really fun ships. Right, now we can also start the Swiss Canal. Which I assume is gonna cost us a fortune. I don't wanna do that until I've sorted out all these situations we're in. Um, yeah, you're gonna go and engage that rebel stack. Next one. Uh, Minsk. Yeah, I want to keep it there, just in case. I want to see if I can do something fun. This is costing us a fair bit of manpower, that's the annoying part. Or what do you, what do you want, whatever you want to call it. Soldiers are dying. And in large numbers. And we're even losing money from it. Ugh. See, we are still marching here, right? Yeah. guys are retreating to where? There. Okay, let's go. And then after that, northward. Actually, one of you can move there right now. Or... Petersburg, rather. So many rebels. Ugh. Uh. That said, we are beating them back one little group at a time. Still losing quite a lot of money. Uh, how much is that from frack factories? Paying a fair bit industrial subsidies. Uh, of course, we are also paying quite a lot of money due to the military upkeep here.
I think we'll have to start increasing taxes again. It was nice, but... We need the money. We have wars to conduct. And rebels to kill. And so many rebels. Yeah, as far as I understood this, all I all that's needed for the uh, Jacobins to win is for them to hold St. Petersburg for 30 days. Where was that tool did? Ah, there we go. Rebels will win if the following is true. Capital controlled by Jacobin rebels. But it's not contained in the last 30 days. So the capital is the only thing that matters. And we are slowly winning up this battle, so go down there. You go and help and help on siege. More prestige events. And just because, why not get another one? <laughs> Anarchoid liberals this time, so... Okay. When in doubt, rebel some more. Probably move these guys back. I, at some point, I'll have to construct an army around them, but we'll see. Take care of those in Finland and then move there. You go there, and then you're gonna go outside St. Petersburg right there. Something, something, Afghanistan. What? Oh, rebels. So there are rebels within Afghanistan. Uh, yeah, well, that's not really our concern, is it? Let's see, no revolts here. Um, everything there seems to be taken care of. We seem to be the target of a lot of those flashpoints. I don't like this. Go 
because I'm not really... I'm not really prepared for a massive war, which will certainly happen if we're not careful. Um, better start redeploying our troops. Because if it comes down to war, we will be fighting Germany. That's really the only power I fear, because they have tons of troops, they border me, and they don't, they don't scatter their troops around. All their troops are pretty much here, so... Okay, electrical lightning. Lighting. <laughs> lightning. Yeah, okay. Maybe not. And... Poland can be... Improved, so we'll do that. Yeah, now we're suddenly not losing tons of money because of uh, attrition, that sort of thing. So yeah, so we're basically hurting these rebels, because if they take St. Petersburg, we should collapse to them anyway, even though they have no real hold of the country anywhere. Um, Punjab. We belong in our sphere, there we go. Only the beginning of the occupation. Lots of railroads being built, as always. Given that we have so many provinces, we get so many of those darn pop ups. Uh, Kazakh Martyr. Uh, give them consciousness. Now we're making bank. Hey, Edison light bulb. So now we can make electric gear. Excellent. All well, that occupation. Move on. Let's see, Revolt Risk. Not region. Revolt Risk, there we go. So, mostly the Polish lands, huh? Guess we'll send in the troops there again. And you move to the southern province, because that's where there were some upset folks. You are gonna move here. Things have actually calmed down a bit here in the Caucasus. Little redeploy there. Um, try to keep things just a little bit calm at the very least. Go and straighten out those two troops. Hey, and now, now things are becoming interesting. We're getting rubber. Hmm, yeah, the Suez Canal. Let's see. As far as I know, that begins the pro project. I don't think it actually gets built in a single single click. Uh, but 
Good start. And if it is built instantly, I'd be very surprised. Is it? It is built instantly. Really? Cool. That is pretty darn cool. Might want a fort just just there. More factories and did we not move? Yeah, we move them. And Portugal is still occupied by anarcho liberals. Blood and roses. Do we even have war exhaustion? Where can I see that, actually? War exhaustion. There we can see it. We have nothing. So it really comes down to do we want to push our population towards jingoism. Yeah, sure. In it, doing it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did I just see that right? 12,000 unemployed. That is bad. Um, sort by unemployed craftsmen. 12,000? Really? Well then, I'll expand the factory because we can at least do that. 12,000 unemployed. Wow. Okay, I think I'm going to take a short break here and we will see. We still have these rebels that are trying to take St. Petersburg. And I'm kind of itching to see if they can actually do that. I have no idea how, how this is going to pan out though. If they take St. Petersburg... I assume we're going to switch to a government form. I don't know. <laughs> it will probably take a huge chunk of our prestige. I don't know. I've never fallen to rebels before. <laughs> That's like a, at least not as I can recall. We'll see. We'll find out. Thank you for watching.